turned and that they are holding him still in their DSS touch. But we must not allow this to happen. We must not allow that the zoo shall be the one who will be, um, you know, giving the narrative that the people must be following. Our media warriors, you must tighten your belt because this is the last battle. This is the time where all of us must do that for which we have been called for this very moment. I have a message for the Fulani Caliphate. And that message is a very simple one. Release the leader of the indigenous people of Yafra when you demand the Amerikan unconditionally. And accede or agree to the referendum for the Biafran people. This is the message I'm giving the Fulani Caliphate. Because they are the real Fulani leaders and not the cabal in Ashur Rock. The real Fulani leaders in the zoo must compare the cabal and the presidency or whatever they call themselves to release only in Dunar. They have no choice. They must release him now. And they have between now and the fourth of this month, that is fourth of November 2021, to release our leader. Today being the second of November 2021, the zoo has barely two days to release our leader unconditionally. The zoo, they can. And of course, we know they will empty their treasury. And they are already emptying their treasury. They have emptied their treasury. They are borrowing money. In his belief and in his attempt, in each what believe that they are going to stop the inevitable from happening. And that inevitable is that the Afra restoration must happen. The other inevitable is that the sovereign and the independent Biafra nation must be a reality. It must stand. Whether as human beings like it, whether the zoo like it, whether the spirits like it, it has been ordained by Elohim to Biafra that Biafra must stand and it must be restored. Therefore, the car, the full army cannot stop Biafra from coming. They cannot stop the restoration of Biafra. Biafra will come despite all the armament that they have transported in Thailand. Despite all the 30 plus or 30,000 plus personnel that you are pushing into Biafra land. Despite the killings that you are committing in land, the atrocities that you are committing in land presently. And whatever else that you want to throw at us. Today, the 2nd of November, I tell you, that all these will be a waste of effort because Biafra has been ordained that it must come. And it will come in our lifetime. It will come by, it will be restored by this generation led by the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra in the Mazen The enemy cannot stop this from happening. Why am I asking the caliphate to impress upon the capital?
power in Asherah to unconditionally release our leader and agree the referendum. Why am I asking them? I am asking them because end the all this. At the end, if they continue the path that they have trodden, at the end of all this, the full line in West Africa will be in a very, very big danger. If the option, if the option the Asura Cabal chooses is confrontation and war, I wish to repeat myself. At the end of all this, despite and in spite of the weapons of war that you have transported into our land, notwithstanding the thousands and tens of thousands of personnel that you have also flooded our land with, one thing is sure and one thing is certain. If you choose and continue to go on this part of confrontation with the Biafran people, if you continue to trust in your sheriffs and your horses and you are a spoil for war, Biafra will come. But not only that Biafra will must come and shall come, the Fulani in West Africa will be in a very great danger because you will have started the tsunami that will not stop until the anger of Tukwabiyama upon the Fulani race for the blood of the innocent that they have spilled in our land, for the blood of the poor and the widow, of the fathers, of the mothers that they have spilled in our land, it will, his anger will not return until that blood which you have shared in our land and spilled to desecrate the holy land of Biafra until it is avenged a hundredfold. This is my message tonight to the Fulani Caliphate. And this message, they will ignore it at their own peril. And I said initially before that this battle has gone beyond the physical. The spirit that owns Biafra land, we, our people are seeing what we are suffering. Yes, we are suffering. It, it, it breaks our heart to see the blood that is being wasted. But stay on great and break Biafrans. For our salvation is not very far away. But Chukwa Biafra will, of course, deliver his people from the hands of the bloodthirsty jihadis from the Putajal mountains. I want to and I wish to commend this very evening the um, our council of traditional rulers the custodians of our customs and, and culture. I want to commend them and I want to commend as well the um, council or the clergy as well, uh, comprising the bishops and the archbishops who had a joint communique with our traditional rulers and who spoke, who spoke for the very first time as fathers and elders whose children are going through untold hardship. They have spoken or they spoke as fathers who have seen the suffering of their children and who can no longer simply ignore or keep quiet. I wish to commend them, and I also wish, I also want to urge them to continue in that path. 
because it is with their outspoken comments and uh, um, their outspoken concern that will of course tell the outside world that indeed there are still elders in this land on this part of the world. I wish to commend them and I urge them to continue in that part because they as well have a part to play. It's not just the youths that are that are um, that are hopelessly or, 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 or that see the situation as hopeless. I mean that the, the contraction they found themselves it is a hopeless a hopeless situation that the youth of Jaffa have found themselves in the contraction called Nigeria. Our elders must understand that what the youth are fighting for is for their own benefit as well. If they, as our elders, cannot come on the street, we are not even asking them to come on the street. Of course, we are not asking them to, to um, be physically, uh, um, take physical, physical part as the youth will, but their moral support can of course, do a lot of good to these very youths, committed youths, who are, are doing what they have been called to do, to safeguard our land and, of course, to ensure that our land is not overrun by the enemy. Great Africans. I want to tell you tonight that we have said that our leader must be released unconditionally and that which we said yesterday is what we are saying tonight and what we are maintaining on this Tuesday the second day of November 2021. And failing which the Biafra land will be locked down from the 5th of November up until the 10th of November 2021, which is the date that the, the case of our leader was adjourned to from their last. Um, Clownish, you know, court process or court proceedings that they had um, on the 21st. Our stand is a simple one. The whole of Jaffa land will go on lockdown mode from the 5th of November. If by midnight of 4th of November 2021, our leader is not unconditionally released. And while we are doing that, some people, there are some concerns by some people who are, who are saying um, the leadership must not uh, give an exception like we said Sunday it will be a day uh, that uh, um, people uh, can can go um, for worship, and then, but specifically, I want our people to understand. That, yes, Sunday is a is a worship day for those who go to churches. But the main reason why we um, gave Sunday as an exception is for our people to be able to stock up for the three days coming after the first two days of the Sidatron. Our people must be allowed to stock up their, um, uh, their, 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 their foodstuffs and, and whatever they may need. And the Sunday will be a day that um, we will allow people to be able to do this. But I want to say something very, very important to people. 
Don't allow yourself to fall into um, a situation of carelessness or you of not being allowed. Because don't forget, the enemy is still around us. You can imagine how many thousands of personnel they brought in. Many of them are not, they are not uh, in police barracks or army barracks or, you know, in, in, in a group place. Some of these people are in our hotels. And I'm saying, talking about hotels, the hotel proprietors and owners must be aware that there are many who are part of the, you know, executioners, part of the killing squad that the zoo have brought into a land that many of them are lodging in your hotels. Many of them are your guests. You must, as a hotel proprietor or a hotel owner, you must be at a land and you must be watching. You must be, be, you must take note of those that you are giving accommodation in your hotel because they may turn out to be those who will even attack your hotel when the order is given for them to do so. They have a lot of sleeping cells all over the place. But we are watching every of their moves, every of their step. We are watching them. And we will be exposing all of their plans to alert the Biafran people so that they do not fall victim to these murderers and blood suckers. I want to make a very important announcement tonight. A very, very important announcement. And everyone must pay attention. The IPOB USA um, treasurer in the person of Mrs. Rita is a he said some people call her Madame Muivo as well. I don't know if she's um, she has um, but that's by the way. And um, Mrs. Rita is a um the IPOB USA treasurer from tonight has been released of our position as IPOB USA Treasurer. The account that this lady is managing for IPOB, which is the Umweri Arodi Areli account in USA, is hereby shot. This account cannot be used anymore for any ESN fundraising. Do not put your money as if you are an IQB family member or you are a sympathizer of IQB, you are a girlfriend, you want to support what the IQB is doing to liberate our land. You should not put your hard-earned funds into Umu, Eri, Arodi, Areli account in USA. This account that is managed or that from tonight, of course, um, it, it, it is managed by Mrs. Rita Eze. Mrs. Rita Hayden herself has been relieved of her position as IPOB treasurer. Anyone dealing with her is dealing is dealing on her own, on his own. You are not dealing with IPOB anymore. 
And in addition to Mrs. Rita Eze, these individuals are hereby expelled from IPOB family. Number one, Mazi Ndubisi Ejiasi, formerly a rep, a, uh, a zonal and a regional rep in USA, is hereby expelled. Mazi Olivobi, also formerly a representative that is a regional rep, is hereby tonight expelled from IPOB. Mazi Onyeka, formerly of Ontario, um, um, a regional rep of Ontario East, as well hereby expelled from IPOB. I am giving a warning to these two women, Mrs. Rosemary William and Mrs. Azoka Charles Wanko. It could be that your that your name is being used without your permission. But I want to give you the benefit of that. From tonight, if your name continues to be used by these evil people in our midst, those who are doing the work of the man, if you allow them, your name to continue to be to be used by them, then it means that you are creed. It means that you knowingly and deliberately is in consent with their evil plan, which is to destabilize this great movement. And then, up from that moment, will the leadership do the appropriate. But for now, these two women turn a good lead because we allow people to change from their mistakes. I have something to tell those who are moving around, mounting and parroting the, 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 what do they call it? Uh, I feel the uh, North American Amazon American. What is nonsense? Listen, when this issue started, when this problem it started to, 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 to um, you know, grow a little bit, I remember I told Mrs. Mrs. Um, Rita is the only say, or Rita is the say, or what, I, I, I hope I get it proper, but Rita is the say, I think that's, that's her name. I told her that her POV is beyond being uh, hijacked by anybody. It cannot happen. We will allow you to come out openly. We will allow you to show your intentions, to show your motive. And then we'll cut off your hair. Because this movement can not be hijacked. Those who gave you the, um, um, the, the, the work, those who gave you the assignment to go and destabilize our people while they are killing our people in our land and you are trying to um, you know, uh, distract us with the with the with the cooked up, um, you know, uh, um, distractions. I guess because some of these things that that we see on on on, on being being distributed, they actually do not make one iota of sense. Now. Those of you, I told them, I told her, her and two other women, I told them that this movement cannot, if you think this movement can be like, you cannot do that. It's not possible. Not that you cannot, but you are not, you, you, that person has not been born. And it has not been, it does not exist. The person who will hijack this very movement. They thought it was a joke. And they continued in their way. They continued in their evil machination. They continued to, to cause mayhem and confusion in this family. And uh, until we clearly understood where they were coming and where they are going. And we are cutting it off. IPOB is one, one central command 
one central command and that central command is Onyendu Mazen Namekano. There is no RPOB uh, Europe under Mazen Namekano, not there is no RPOB Asia uh, under Mazen Namekano or RPOB South America under Mazen Namekano. See, so you people must understand well, I was saying the last time that they tried the three port, they tried the whatever port the, 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 the DSS tried during the first time our leader had issue. They knew that there is no way that they will set up another freedom fighting activity to rival on this great movement. So what they went back to the drawing board and they said, let us try to take it from within. And that is why you're seeing this these daughters of 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 of, uh, of addition. That is why you see some of these men who did not fully drink from their mother's breast. That they have agreed to be the hand by which the enemy will attempt to destroy this movement. And all the efforts that they have made, and when I was always saying, when when you hear, when you when these schools write something, read between the lines because they call, they are confessing. The spirit of Yafra will make them to confess. Read deep and think very thoroughly. They are telling, they are they are saying that um, um, they wanted the, the DOS after five days of our leader not being our They already said they already saw the issue that the the the, the Vietnam people will reject the DOS. The plan was to do what to turn the leadership upside down and to create something parallel to that and take it from within. So, but they did not, they did not um, count on the hardcore, uh, hardcore members of the three leadership that we has put in place. And their time has come. And their time is now. We will begin to weed many of them out very badly and very sustained in a very sustained manner. If you are an actual principal servant, I repeat this again, and you are found dealing with any of these people that has been expelled and removed from this family, it means that you have taken a deliberate step and a conscious action. And you will be held responsible for that deliberate act and that very conscious action that you have taken. Because knowing that all that actions and step that they are in complete disagreement and in complete conflict with the agenda of this great movement, with the objective of this very great movement, of course, with the fundamental, fundamental. Um, goal or aim of this very moment. You are therefore you are one. On Sunday, I will be having a meeting, a meeting with the four regional reps in the United States, the mountain region, the central, the eastern zone, uh, eastern region, and um, uh, Mountain, Eastern, Central, and which one am I missing? I think there are four of them too. But uh, the point is that I'm going to have a meeting on Sunday with the four regional reps on um, four regional reps of IPOB in in United States um, on Sunday. In that meeting, the IPOB USA Financial Secretary will be there, and of course, IPOB. Um, Head of Finance will also be in that meeting, and maybe one or two more um, members of the US. And the reason is that we are going to um, 
by next week or before this, yes, by next week, let's, let's put it there. By next week, our people will be properly directed on where they must uh, begin to um, put in their contributions for the Eastern Secret Network. We must continue on our fundraising, and I understand that the Lions and team are preparing uh, for a fundraising on the 6th, on the 6th of November. The Lions and team are preparing, uh, they have scheduled, I believe they have scheduled a fundraising for the 6th of November. And I encourage every Biafran, and wherever you may be, I do encourage all of you to be part of that fundraising because that fundraising will be will be to ensure that our ESN is not lacking what they need to continue in their functions and carrying out their responsibilities. Biafra for us is not just a name. Biafra is our identity. Biafra is our heritage. And Biafra is all that we have had, that all that we have for us, for our children, and for generations yet unborn. Biafra is all that we have, and every hand must be on deck to ensure that Biafra comes. We cannot begin to imagine Biafra any life without Biafra, because it will be a life of servitude, it will be a life of sorrow and misery, and to call them a forbid. We are the children of Tukwo Kike, and him alone, the creator of heaven and earth, Tukwo Abiyama, him alone is he who we worship, and him alone is whom we bow down to, and not to man, and not to anything that is made by man's heart. And therefore, great dear friends, you must not fail to be your brother's keeper. As we enter the lockdown on the 5th of November, you, those of you who are, whose hands are well off, you must look around and of course support your brother or your sister who may not be as buoyant as you are. And Chukokike shall keep all of you. Chukokike shall keep all of us. And Chukwa Biyama shall bless the indigenous people of Biafra. And continue to put our leader in prayer. Yes, we have come to the end of the Psalms, but our prayer continues day and night on his behalf and on behalf of all Biafrans in Biafra land who are in a war front. We must continue to put them in prayer and we must continue unceasingly to call down the spirit that own our land to fight this battle for us. Thank you so much for listening. And from me, from here, I want to say to you, may Chukadama bless and be with all of you. And good evening from here. Thank you so much. <laughs>
So my people, my people, I thank each and every one of us. Today we don't hear them. We don't hear them. The message is very, very simple. I just want to put voice because um, uh, make I just take a round up the uh, take round up the the announcement from the head of the Directorate of State, Mazichika Edoziemo himself. The announcement is very, very simple. Um, the zoo, the Nigeria Mosa, uh, the message is very simple. Goes to the, um, goes to the, the, the Fulani leaders to first of all, do the needful things and they know that needful things, the right thing that they should do. And that right thing that they should do is nothing but um, to let their people um, do what? Release our leader. They have from now till 4th. They have now from today till 4th of uh, this month um, to release our leader unconditionally with no excuse. German, they will say, only Abba. With no Abba, with no Abba, they should release, with no Abba, they should release our leader, Mazen Namde Kalo, and then also announce the day official referendum for the beer France. Each and everybody from that contraction called Nigeria to decide whether, to decide where the people want to belong. So that is a very, very important announcement. And then as we all know that uh, this, that announcement is so important uh, that uh, the announcement, everybody will share it around. So I want to use this opportunity also once again to expose you see, a lot of atrocities is going on in Biafra land. The Nigerian um, sponsoring state terrorism through the uh, uh, through the Fulanese, uh, you know, militias that they recruited the people, they book from the terrorists, the bandits, the Boko Haram's members, and all of them that they recruited, and they. They say that they have given them pardon and then reintegrated them to the Nigerian army. They, you know, that was a strategy. They plan to um, all the whole, uh, uh, the Fulanese that they imported from uh, 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 Mauritania and from Senegambia and all these people to pass through that uh, medium and just give them a little bit um, English to, you know, just to make them to know how to speak a little bit English and then from give them training and then from that place uh, be able to reintegrate them in Nigerian army, giving them uniform and then uh, send them now to the uh, southeast, send them to the Biafra land to begin to unleash mayhem and to commit atrocity and genocide. But uh, let them make no, let nobody make mistake about this. We are coming. We are coming. The announcement is very very simple, and then the Nigerian government they will feel the pain. You see, it is not about you cannot use gun and bullet to fight ideology, and we are talking about uh, fighting ideology in this age of Aquarius. You see, there is um, a news. You see some some of the wise northern elders um, have begun to lobby for uh, it is their tricks because uh, we know we understand all the whole games because you know after this 20 21 22 23 after they committed all after committing all this crime even including using the so, some of the beer france like what is happening in anambra I said it and I will say it again and I will repeat it again. You see all the whole things that is happening in Anambra. Look, I don't 
care. I say that I do not care. If I know back, should be held responsible. If I know back, should be held accountable. If I know back, APC candidate should be held responsible. And what is happening in Anambra? That is what I said. I don't care. We don't care. You see this our eyes. You see no face to fear. You see no face to fear. Because when we are warning all of them, the thing. So all the old people who are dancing, you see, when these people, I don't care. You know, he just went to during the time where the uh, our leader was to come to court. He went to that place. Just like all these evil people, you know, you know all these wicked people. When they kill those days, when they poison somebody and kill somebody, they will come to the burial to the burial ground and cry past everybody. They will weep past everybody. They will help and do everything past everybody. All those things is just for them to dodge, for them to hide, so that people will not know. You cannot fool everybody. Hold the politicians. Hold the. Are, are you are we our people blind? Our people blind? Can't you people see what are you people are not seeing? Are you people are not seeing what APC use hopes or danger to to be doing in Imo State? All the whole places that they you see now the APC want to do everything to hold Anambra down, and they want to achieve that. Through feeding the ego, feed the ego. You know this strategy. They say feed the man's ego, and then you will get him destroyed, and then he will destroy himself through the ego and the hot, hungry, much hungry, power hungry of Ifanyoba. Uh, 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 he want to do everything. The most important thing. He don't care. Let him reign as a governor. That's all. Let him reign. Let him be the one in power. Let him be the one in Anambra State. Let him be the one that will, uh, the next convoy, that if he's coming out, all the whole the, the convoy will follow him. Now he get to my turn, he get to his turn to be a governor. That is when IPOB will be doing this thing, including including kidnapping the extra rendition. If I Oba is planning to Dodge because when all the information that he involved himself will come out, there will be he will have no hiding place. All of them, they will have no hiding place. We don't care who the bugger is. That one apart. So, my people. This is not the time for us to joke. Then in Ohafia, I am talking in Ohafia, my own local government. Nobody saying about talking anything about it. In Ohafia, see what they are doing. In Adia State. Now another thing I want to say is, where is General Ife Jirika? Ife Jirika? It is a time for him to come out. You see, you people took these people, took the statement of Buhari, so granted, when he said that an attack to the north, to the Boko Haram, is attack on the north. And you people took the word of um, El Rafai, Malam El Rafai, Governor El Rafai, you people took the word of that imbecile terrorist. You people took his word for granted. When these people were causing mayhem, using abusive words, making a statement, but this statement was of on that. You know, we took it for granted. When he said, no matter how long, you kill, you, you kill the fool and even if it takes 100 years, they will fight back. You people did not know that all the whole time, look at it, if including Pastor Tunde Bakare, including all the whole people, including, what do you know they call them now? 
all the whole people that came. Where is this uh, uh, this uh, Edo man? Oshomole. Where is all of them? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where is Oshomole? Where is Oshomole today? Where is Oshomole? Where is Adam's Oshomole? Where is Adam's Oshomole? All those evil and wicked people that these people manipulated, manipulated them. And now they did not know what their destiny was. Their plan, they perfected it. We get into, and the people were just thinking so foolish, so foolish, so idiotic, thinking that these people were just only interested in the politics. Like so many fools are still thinking today, thinking it's all about the politics. Before their naked eyes, their land, their properties, the life of their people are being robbed in dead, broad daylight. You people are dealing with animals, devourer, people that come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. They do not have human sympathy. Now, they are using bomb to pump. They are sending, they are sending terrorists to go and begin to shoot. Not in a war front, not inside the bush, but in the place where human beings are living repeating the same nonsense the same thing that they did in 1967 to 1960 with their all the whole allies the same arab mission the same islamic agenda the same you see the same thing that is what they are repeating again the same wahhabist agenda that is what they are fulfilling all this to deep Quran in the Atlantic, repeating it now again by going to bomb in the marketplace. You people saw when they were shooting in the marketplace. The same thing. Bombing hospitals. Bombing worshiping place, worship places. White beast animals. And our people are taking all these things for granted. Now I come back from that, the same people. So when somebody like Aero Five said, When they said, when they threatened, if you recall that time, and then including you, Jonathan, the life, the blood of, no blood of the so, your so called Nigerians, what, you know, the life of your people, no blood of Nigeria, what. Of because of politics, then you step down without you knowing that the people laugh at you. Okay, no blood, what? Don't worry. Yes. And in their own mind, they were saying, okay, for you to fight to kill our own people. That is for you people to know that including the terrorists that is killing you, these people are not seeing them, including the bandit, that to them is not a terrorist. So all of them are crime crew. Their hands are in that criminality together from their so called cabals, from their so called the presidencies to the least person. They are on one Islamic agenda. And knowing that armies, knowing that once armies are caught, armies are secret caught. So once they train together, what, what, what is the difference between an army? And then also the Vikings, the people that we are calling the secret court. Is it not because just the brotherhood? Any 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 member of the secret court, 
those are their first of all their their own people they, so once you join a secret cult you people know about what i'm talking not exactly what i'm talking about that is why you can see a secret cult member will kill his brother father and sister because the only people that now are the members are those people that they have combined with blood together that is the same thing for the with the army that is why tupac called the police he called them the he called them the government gangsters so armies all these uh, 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 all these uh, 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 men in uniform are nothing but the government gangsters you understand me My brother here, my brother here, this message, election, Anambra is Sunday, not Saturday. Let's, my people, you people, sometimes our people, eh, my, the, the way our people, sometimes the behaviors and the way our people listen, and every little thing, we will become so emotional, so sentiment, and you don't listen, learn, our people have to learn how to follow, how to read, how to follow instruction discernment have we lost discernment pure divine discernment have we lost it whether the election is on saturday or friday or whatsoever sit at home what we declare is sit at home until the fourth until the fifth they don't release our leader, sit at home, and then after then, follow the next instruction that will come after then. That is how to do something, my people. Step by step, we are moving forward. Why are you people trying to overrun many times? Try to always mount up pressure and to put the people and to put the, 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 our plan, the strategies to jeopardize it. Always trying to force the people to just do something that we, out of carefulness, anything that we are doing must be thoroughly planned, prepared, implemented at the appointed time. Why are we, why are some of us overrunning? Why are some of us are always pointing finger, knowing who this one is sabotaged, and this one they have bought you, this one they have given you money, this one this and that and that. The too much strife within is, the, is also setting the struggle backward. We no longer know, understand when we are having disagreement. Sometimes somebody would disagree. He, he didn't understand your angle, the angle that you are coming from. Some people have become so over fast in thinking, or, or they have just locked up in their brain. This is how it should be. This is how it should be. No longer. This is, uh, I think, I'm suggesting, in my own point of view, can we try this? No. For them now, command and control means that everybody now should every suggestion that you are bringing should be taken out imagine all, all of us bringing suggestion at the same time what will happen who are we going to follow his own all these things have to be put in the table together then we will wear it we will wear the one my people i'm seeing some of the things that my fellow media warriors some of some people are living the way they are the matter and chasing after wings, chasing after something that doesn't make a sense. People are dying. These people are busy implementing. Jonathan, you say the blood, nobody's blood. What for you? Then you quietly step down. And then now if Jerika, in Jerika, General Jerika, you remember they wanted to take you to ICC. Then it didn't work. They said that they will revenge. Now they are implementing it. All of us should take these things very, very serious. 
and I'm using this opportunity also, go to this video. I am calling my own, my own father, Edoni Chen. Please, go to this video. It is a time, um, Chief Commodore Ebitu Okiwa. Abu Mebreba. Abu Mebreba. Chief Anam da yo tu yi la ari yo. Biko. Oke ulu langbe po saga pa yoka. Ge guri kutu. Metunu biko. Iloma yi jide bundi banye. Odi ngute. Odi ngute. Chief Komodo Ebitu Kiwo. This is the time. Come out. Look at how all the whole, all the whole Southeast leaders, all the whole Southeast leaders just keep quiet. Nobody is hearing from them. They are playing politics with the life of our youth, with the life of our region. General Jirika, you must come out to. All the whole army generals, so both the past one and the previous one, and those that are still serving in Nigerian military and forces. You see the tricks that the people that are playing, they pack all of you people, they pack all the whole people from the Biafra and they send them into the Sabisa forest and send them without ammunition. And then the Boko Haram, the terrorists, the bandits are killing them dear going you understand me even giving feeding them feeding their people with information for them to even go into the military bases into the military base and kidnap and shoot going to the now they, they take the other people they recruit them into army and then send them so two ways they are killing this side they are killing you from this side and then they are now feeding the egos of those that want to be in power. Your so-called governors, so-called politicians, those that are so hungry, they just want money. So what, you know, Kubana, they, whether they invited him to the EFCC or that they arrested him or that all of them not the same plan go you will see one of my previous videos during the time governor with a backyard I we won I was among the people that used my platform to warn Kubana I warn Kubana I warn Kubana go to my previous video you will see the video Many of us in the media, media warriors, we want them, but they won't listen. We want all these our people, but they will not listen. These people know they are targeting or even your people, your billionaires, they are targeting the, 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 the people that are not into politics, everything that they are causing may have. Whenever they hear Biafra, irritates them. In fact, for them, when they don't know, they don't, you people do not understand when we are talking about Biafra. Because it is this Biafra flag, it is the it's a flag of Africa. If you look at Libya, Libya, Libya is the same flag, the same flag, the same flag. Then they just put a star. It's almost the same thing. If you look at Marcos Gabe, Marcos Gabe, when they are talking of Pan Africanism, it is the same flag. Only the difference is that our own have the, the, the rising sun on it. In it. That is the only thing. So for these people, grow hatred, passionate hatred on us because of our republicanism. And then Britain also that a vow in me, if, no matter how long it will take 
for our women, about women to disgrace them. For all the whole time they fought, we have been defeating them. Britain never won us in a war. Never. And they will never. Even down when they when they check the warriors that defeated them in Haiti, there were most of the people that were took from the bite of Biafra. Go and check your own history. That is the reason why when Britain was leaving, they even destroyed the railway, they destroyed the very first pyramid in, in Sudan. British destroyed destroyed that the history that could have taken the people in fact for people to know where the civilization and where the very first civilized human rights law was written the foundation of the, the law you people are coming human rights human rights law civilization where civilization started the founders of civilization this passionate and what they call it white privilege to impose white privilege forcing the blacks to carry them you see many blacks will just carry white people all those pictures all those things our people this was a psychological they were just doing it you know they were just see something ah they got these people are wicked can you carry me? Our people will carry them. Let's just carry you across that place. And then they will make those pictures. And those pictures is what they use now to infuse supremacy in the consciousness of their people. And then now uh, dehumanizing us. People, you know, people that allow themselves. And the same system is what the Arab infused in the Fulanis. That is what makes the Fulanis thinking the same ideology that they are not African. The same people that want the Republic, uh, uh, Sahara Republic to be free from Morocco, supporting uh, 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 going to the United Nations to talk about for other nations the neighboring, the neighboring country between Israel, you people know the people, the Palestinians, to be to supporting the freedom of Palestinian, but it's the same people that are coming to wipe out the indigenous people of Biafra. How hypocrite, how hypocrisy, hypocrite, hypocrite can people be? This is high level of hypocrisy. But when I know what, when I know what, Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Biafra have come to stay. Machi. So it is time. Please, Chief Commodore Ebitu Kiwa, speak out. It is a time. We want to hear from our elders. Which, you know. And then to the Fulanese, let your people to the cabals. You people keep doing what you are doing. But you know what? Yes, the people that went to seek for the division of Nigeria, even they, they know what they, they, they know that it is not now because all you people that are close to your grave, you people know what do you people know what you are leaving? No. You people don't know what you are leaving behind. You people do not know what you are leaving behind. You understand me? You people do not know what you are leaving behind. This battle, this battle, this battle, this war that you people have provoked, we demand for referendum, and you people provoke war, start bombing. Look, no matter how long it will take, no matter how long it will take, mark our war, mark our war, no matter how long it will take, you people will pay for it. Blood to blood. You people will pay for it. No matter how long, even, no, even in hundred years to come, you people will pay for it. In thousand years to you people will pay for it. You people cannot go. Look, it's not gonna go, it's alright. 
you people will pay for it. That is our word. It's very simple. Freedom of Biafra. So that everybody will stay on their own. Free Odudua, free Biafra, free the middle bed, free every indigenous people. If not, the longer that you people are keeping want to play this your game, look, we will keep we are we are just keeping silent. <laughs> 2021, we are now already in November. 2021 will soon be over. Trying to, to smuggle the people, trying to play all your tricks, calling people, sending now, taking the, uh, uh, going to take the people that are doing youth service, tricking them and giving them money and telling them name, the, what do you call it, people, name and whatsoever that you are doing to take the, to, 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 uh, use people that has to call people to do something, ask some people some questions, and then it will be already uh, they have uh, they have voted. All those things and all this nonsense you people are playing is bunkum. It is what bunkum at the appointed time. Anegama mbanabonke broke. No going back. And every damn, every damn, so you people wasted, you people butchered, you will pay for it. You will account for it. You people, justice must prevail. Justice must prevail. He that comes for justice must also come with equity. And we are coming, not just only for justice, we are coming with equity. We are here. In fact, not only we are there, we are there. We are watching an appointed time. The day that we will start. Let all these videos that you people are doing, Mona Kipamo. And then for the for this uh, human rights organization, after you people deliver your the how many people Nigeria keep. What else have you people done? Nobody's hearing from you people again. International Criminal Court of Justice. What's up? We want to hear from on Action speaks louder than word. Buhari is still going around. America. What's up? Joe Biden. What's up? Nobody just only for you people. Uh, no, you people sell ammunition and begin to speak. If it is just you people don't care, you people should not forget that uh, this same Britain, this same Britain that you people are listening to, if it is just because they are white, and then you people want, we want to play down a game of now white, uh, 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 white privilege. My people, it won't, it's not going to work that way. We also have also some white people that understand that this thing is not about white privilege. This thing is all about humanity. Let's not play racist game. Let's not play race game here. This is life of human beings, life of existence. Some other people cannot just wake up and begin to waste existence. They waste, stop other existence and acting inhuman. It's a time for all of us to wake up, raise loud our voice, stretch forth our hand, and reach someone that needs our help. It's time for us not to turn our back. If we really care, we must go ahead and share with someone that needs our help. If we really believe in love, it's time for us to show it to someone else. If we really believe in God, it's a time for this. We should stop wasting innocent blood. Because now is the time for you and me to make this earth a better living place. Many are dying every day. Many are hopeless and homeless today. Because of some few greediness, many are homeless. Now is the time for you and I to make this a better living place. And I left you, my people, that 
that is where I conclude this my message today. From me, from here, smile, I'm Muzi Abrabatu, said, my people, stay good. Yeah, guys, you know.